On the overview page, at any time, we can click on the little right arrow next to the build configuration and select history. And that'll take us directly to the history page. Now let's examine one of these builds in more detail. First of all, if we look at the history table, we can see that apart from the number and the results of the build, we also have artifacts, changes, started, duration, the agent build was run, some tags and the pin which we saw previously. Let's click on one of these builds and see what information it provides us. First of all, we see an overview page which gives us information about the result with a green box indicating that this was successful. If we had code coverage, it will also display at the bottom here, which in this case it does. And then we can see a series of tabs one of them is changes, the tests, build log, build parameters, artifacts, and code coverage, which we'll look at in a moment. On the right-hand side, we see all history, which will basically take us back to the previous page that we were on, as well as an arrow, which indicates that we can navigate to the previous build. So if we click on that, it will take us to the previous build. In this case, we see that the box is red, indicating that this build failed. And at the bottom, we see some information about why it failed. Here's a build that's passed. Let's take a look at some of the other tabs. On the changes tab, we see a list of changes that occurred in this build. For each of these changes, we can see a list of files that were related to this change. We can hover over the list of files and see which ones were added, which in this case were two. We can see if any files had been changed in one of the builds. For instance, we can see here that there was one added file and four files that were edited. We can click on each of these and Team City will open it up, showing us a diff of the file from the previous check-in to the current one. We can also click on the test to see more information about all the tests that occurred during this build and we'll dig deeper into tests in a different module. Let's switch over to the build log. Here we can see the output of the build which basically means that every action in the build script that has generated some output will be collected in the build log. The best way to look at the build log is using the tree view, which allows us to collapse and expand different nodes. So for instance, the updating of the sources can be collapsed and expanded on the one node. We can immediately jump to the tail of the build log by clicking on tail, seeing only the end result and the tail of the build log. We can also highlight important messages as well as download the entire build log. Back on the history page, we can also access some information directly from here. To begin with, we can click on the artifacts. Artifacts are basically the output of a build. This can be packages, this can be zip files, etc. Team City has native support for recognizing certain file formats, including zip files, XML, HTML, etc. So by hovering over the artifacts, I can actually expand the contents of the different files and navigate inside them. At any time, I can just click on an artifact to download it. And I can also access the artifacts by clicking on the build and selecting them from the artifacts page where I can also download them all at one go. From here, I can also navigate through the different contents of the files. Back on the history page, we can see that we can also access changes directly from this page. Similar to what we saw on the changes tab, we can just hover over the changes, look at the different files, and select the one we're interested in and see the diff appear in the browser. 